Good morning, everybody. I've got a word for you. And I just want to share this word with you. And I think it's very important that you pay full attention to what the word has got to say. And it comes from Colossians chapter three, and it's uh, from verse one all the way to verse four, verses one to four, Colossians three. And it says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. For you have died and your life is hidden in Christ, in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. It's a powerful scripture, a very simple scripture, but a very powerful scripture. And I want to share this with you. And it says, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above. So when you're born again, truly born again to Christ Jesus, then we shouldn't be setting our hearts or our minds on the things of this world, but we should be setting our hearts and our minds on the things that are above, which means in the heavenlies, in the spiritual realm with Christ Jesus, because our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is sitting in power and glory at the right hand of the Father in heaven. And our hearts and our minds should be set on the things above, on Christ, who is our Lord and our Saviour, who is sitting with the Father God in heaven. So we've got to get our minds and our focus off the things of the world, off the material things of the world and the things of the flesh, and get our minds and our hearts set on the things of the Spirit. That's what the message is saying. Set your minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are on the earth. Everything on the earth is temporary. Everything on the earth will fade away in time. Like we also, our, our earthly bodies will fade away. We will go and return to the dust. That's why you hear at every funeral, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Because from the dust we were created and from the dust we will return. So, why would you want to set your mind and your heart on the things of the earth that are just temporary, that are fading away? Why wouldn't you want to set your mind and your heart and your spirit man on the things of God? Which are eternal, that's what it's basically saying. And it says in verse 3, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So when we die to this world, that's what it means, and we were born again in the Spirit, then we are hidden in Christ. We're hidden in His righteousness. We're hidden in His holiness. God protects us. And when the Father looks down upon our life, He sees the righteousness and the holiness of his beloved son Jesus Christ. That's who he sees. He doesn't see you with all your faults and, and your, your mistakes and your sins. He sees you as righteous and holy because when, when you die to yourself, when you die in Christ and you are risen in Christ, you are made a new creation. You are not patched up, you are not fixed up, you are not restored but you are made a complete new creation. So you've got a fresh start. Everything is new. And so, you know, when, when you are created in God's image and you're born again and you made that new creation, then God transfers His holiness and His righteousness to you because you are created in His likeness. And so that's what the Father sees. He sees his beloved son, his righteousness and his holiness, hiding you, covering you. That's all he sees. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. You know, when Jesus returns for all of us, then we will be glorified with him because we are created in our maker's image our creator's image and he is glorified right now at the right hand of the father and when he comes back he will come back on a cloud of glory 
as he went up. He went up on a cloud of glory and he will come back down on a cloud of glory. And so when we join him in the cloud, we will be glorified in a twinkling of an eye. Our old body will pass away and we'll be giving a new body, a new, a new supernatural body, which will, which will shine with his glory. We will, we will be with Christ when he appears. When Christ who is your life, Christ is life, Christ is eternal life, he is every aspect of your life. He is your creator, but he is also your life because he gave you his breath of life. So when Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will appear with him in glory. Isn't that a marvelous, a marvelous thought that we can live with our Father in heaven we can live with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, when he appears, when he comes back a second time to take up all of mankind, those who were wicked and rejected Christ and those who were once wicked but repented of their sin and turned back to God and made Christ their Lord and Savior. We will appear in glory, in his glory, and we, we will live eternity with him. And that is beautiful. And that's what I want. I want to share that simple message with you. But it's a very simple but very powerful message. To make sure that you keep your focus upon the things, the spiritual things and the things of God. Which are not of this earth. Because this earth is just a temporary place for you to live. But it's not your permanent home. Your permanent home your forever own, is with Christ Jesus to live eternity on the new Zion, the new heaven. The heavens and the earth will pass away and the new Zion will appear out of the sky and it will be a replica of the earth before sin and death came into it. It will be a new creation like you were made a new creation and we will spend an eternity with Christ Jesus. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing to spend all eternity with God in a place that is beautiful and perfect where no sin or death or pain exist. So I just want to encourage you today with this word of God. And I'm sharing this with you, not only to encourage you, but to equip you and to build you up and to empower you and also to encourage you to get go deeper in God's Word. And I appeal to you to study God's Word on a daily basis and communicate with God in prayer on a daily basis and see the miracles and the blessings happen in and through your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hallowed be your holy name. Father, I'm so encouraged myself this morning with your Word that we are to keep our focus and our hearts and our minds upon the things that are not of this world, but upon the spiritual things, upon you, Father God. And Father, these things on the earth are just temporary, and they're fading away. And our lives on earth, the flesh part of our lives, are disappearing very fast, Father God. And in the twinkling of an eye, Father God, where life once was, life will be no more on the earth. But for those who are in Christ Jesus, when Christ returns, we will raise, be raised up from the dead. If we're already asleep in the grave, we'll be raised up in the twinkling of an eye. And those of us that are still alive on the earth will also be whisked up in the second group, Father. And we will be given new supernatural bodies to spend all eternity with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father God, for every blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, we praise you and we thank you. Amen. Father, we glorify you, we honor you, and we thank you for every blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on Cloud Church TV. And thank you so much for spending time in God's Word and fellowship with me. I would truly enjoy our fellowship I've been away for a few days meaning i've not been making the videos because i've, I've been ill so with the the dreaded lurgy as they say but i'm getting stronger praise god hallelujah and now you'll be seeing again more videos 
coming your way to encourage you on your daily and weekly walk with God. So God bless you all. Shalom. And I'll see you on the next Cloud Church TV video. God bless you all. Bye for now.